Well, after months of negotiations and what has finally ended one of the most boring sagas in West Ham's history, Winston Reid has signed a new six and a half year deal with the club. George, this can only be a good thing, right? One of our most important players sticking at the club for such a long period of time. Oh, very much so, especially when it looked like he was mm. he was on his way out. So it's a, if you like, it's a bit of a coup, really. Mm. And although he's obviously at the club already, but um, yeah, he's obviously been a consistent performer over the years, and um, yeah, I'm sure that um, most fans will be pleased with that for sure. Baby, no, I completely agree. agree. It's it's like getting a new signing because you're keeping a player that oh, we'd have to find a replacement for Reed that would have been the same as Reed. So to have him for another six and a half years mm. is, is fantastic. And also we had Noble and Tompkins as well signed. So we've, in essence, we've committed these players for a bit longer. But the thing that I really found strange, and I find it strange about the contracts at the moment, a lot of people disagree with me on it. And I know football is different from the rest of the world. Mm. But in the rest of the world, if you've got a contract to present iron views mm. and it's coming up at the end of the season and you don't want to talk about it until you, know, you get closer to the time, then you know, that's your prerogative. And that is his prerogative. And um, had he carried on playing for the rest of the season and at the end of the season said, you know what, I've had some great years at West Ham, but now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on, I'm going to try something new. Mm. Like everyone should be able to do in their work in life, should be able to go and try something different. I would have been sad to see him go, but I would applaud him when he came back because what he has done for West Ham when he's been here has been immense. Um, I mean, one of the things fans have been saying that he's only signed because he's realised that none of the top clubs want him. <laughs> Obviously, we don't have any proof of this, but do you mm. think that could be the case, George? It, it might well be. I mean, that might be the case, I suppose. If if you look at who's in the top, would Chelsea need him? Possibly no. Man City, mm, maybe, maybe not. And so, yeah, that might be the case. But um, he, he's obviously in a he was in a strong position mm. anyway. So. Mm. Good luck to him. It's probably only him. you'd probably say it's probably only Arsenal that he, he may potentially mm. have, have gone to. Yeah. For all those sides at and the top sides. You, the thing is, you really don't know. Is you don't know what happens in the ba in the background. You know, you, and you don't know if anyone said anything. You know, maybe if you if you hang out or you just mm. don't really know what what goes on in that. And you don't know what goes in the players' mind. You know, equally you might have thought, mate, someone will come into me in the summer. Someone will come in for me in January. Then after Jeremy, you thought, oh, no one's going to come in for me now, mm. kind of thing. But, yeah, no, it's a fantastic signing, really, for us. Well, sticking on defence, Carl Jenkinson is someone who's uh, doing really well this season for West Ham, and there are rumours that he'll uh, sign permanently for the club at the end of the season. There was a tweet from David Gold, even, suggesting uh, uh, when he was asked whether he'd play against Arsenal, um, he said, n yeah, basically, he n never, uh, never again. Um, so, with, with that in mind, do you think that'd be a good, a good move for West Ham? I think so, yeah. He's done well this season, to be fair. I mean, obviously, come from a quality club as well and he's come in and he's settled down and um, he, he's, he's added to the defence I think so um, that'd be another good signing yeah definitely mm. so definitely I think for me it just comes down to the money you know if Arsenal want 10 11 12 million for him I don't think he's worth it I think he's, he's a great prospect and I think he's got the potential with Presswell on the other side to, to really be our, our fullbacks for years and years to come and I think mm. that would be fantastic going forward I just think it, they might want a lot of money for him and uh, I don't know whether it'd be a, a great move for Jenkinson if you're at Arsenal do you look at the pecking order and think I would think so yeah that's maybe one of the reasons why he came on loan originally to, mm. to get games isn't it I think so I'm sure if, it, if there was a deal to be done I'm sure he would look at that and think well actually he's going to get some game time so so I think there's a lot of elements to it. I don't, I don't think it's a case that he's not enjoying playing for West Ham, because clearly he is. Mm -hmm. um, but I think when it comes to the dark line, he knows this is for a season. And do you want to leave Arsenal? And where, you know, you know Arsenal have had some terrible injury seasons recently. Mm. He could have got a, a good run in the side there. Or do, 